space has been a wonderful addition to us at Spicer Elementary. And you may not know this, but at Spicer we speak 21 languages, and in my fifth grade classes alone we speak 13. So we have a very diverse, rich diverse population and since we are low socioeconomic in Title I, that diversity is a socioeconomic um, challenge as well. That's why Makerspace has been a beautiful addition to our schools because our children are able to interact with things they may not have had the opportunity to interact with if we didn't have Makerspace. As our children finish their assignments in class, we have an open door to Makerspace so our children of Many cultures come in, they get to explore the 3D printer, they get to mold clay with our pottery wheels if they want to play in the arts and in music. We have a little synthesizer, we have guitars with guitar lessons, we even have a backing with that kids can log on, show that, that QR code, and they're able to go into a world that they never maybe have been introduced to without the experience of makerspace. Kids are able to build in our engineering department. They're able to create journal entries and they're able to create uh, newspaper articles and they're able to use the green screen to make all sorts of things they never would have had the opportunity to do without the generous contributions of our foundations that help us get all of this equipment. So for us at Spicer, in this extreme diverse culture, makerspace has changed the way our children are seeing education. They're able to come in and pull a challenge card and if we're talking about colonization, you know, how did the colonists carry vessels? What is a vessel from the 1600s? You know, because we're going all the way back to the 16s, 1600s. How did people carry water? Did, there wasn't a water fountain. So they know, oh, it was a pitcher, Miss Bowler. Well, how did they do that? Well, they created clay. Well, where does clay come from? And how would you reproduce that? So they're able to pull in the QR codes, look at an example of a pottery wheel, and they're able to make vessels, they're able to make bowls, just like they did in the 1600s, maybe not the electric, electronic pottery wheel, but the same premise applies. They're able to reproduce and to create things that transcend what they're actually getting at home. They're able to experience life experiences that they may not encounter at home. And here at school, at Spicer, we are about training our students for 21st century skills. We have to go beyond and expand that and those innovations all the way to the 22nd century because the next generation, the next generation will all benefit from the knowledge and the education and the drive and the innovation that these kids have. They'll take that to their children. They'll go on to college and be innovative people simply because they had the opportunity to be innovative as 10 year olds, as 9 year olds, as 8 year olds. They didn't have to wait to high school. They didn't wait to middle school. They didn't wait to college to learn these things. They're experiencing these things as adolescents and that's the beauty of makerspace.